So I've learned a lot in my last year and a half of dropshipping and e-commerce. And I can see that as time goes on, as you know, the weeks, the days, the months pass on the different insights or the different strategies or the different viewpoints I have. But you see, for some reason, it's all coming now and it's, I'm realizing the mistakes and the reasons why I haven't, you know, made consistent numbers throughout the whole year. So basically, I want to kind of just sum up every like, obviously, more information, more step by step guides, more sauce is all given in my discord. But I kind of just want to sum like the main points and put the whole package together. Okay. The first first thing that I truly believe that is the reason why I haven't kind of paved my own path and kind of found something uh, like a, a store that's made consistent money is because of my product selection. <clears throat> and I kind of went over my product selection in the last video, but I can't truly emphasize enough that I don't know, for some reason, something clicked in my head and just made me realize like Julian, you know, I'm choosing saturated ass fucking products. And even though that it might make you a few sales, or even if it might make you like a few thousand dollars, it just won't last because you're in a market that's so competitive. You're you're in a market that has competitors who have so much more of an advantage. They've spent thousands and thousands of dollars more than you. They've been in the space thousands and thousands of hours. It's been in this space longer than you. I don't know. I'm, now I'm sounding like Donald Trump at this point. But you get what I mean. Like there's, it's just, you might pick up the leftovers basically. And then it just dies. But really like thinking about, forget about like, um, like just for, forgetting about all this shit that I've learned through like drop shipping and like hearing other drop shippers about the markets you should get in, the type of products you should sell. Now, steering away from that, it's just so logical to choose a product that's just, no one's like, it's just like no one thought about it. It's so unique, but it still follows all the criteria of a winning product. Just, it's just that you can finally, you can be the brand. Just, you could be the one making consistent sales. Like, you know, like it's just getting or finding, carving your own path, basically. Again, I explained deeper, but. It's really the product selection. Product selection is huge, huge, huge. It's basically your whole, it's like the fundamental, it's the base of your fucking store, your brand. So I'm very, very careful of my product selection now. I'm very, I have certain criterias um, that I follow. Uh, all my criterias, again, are in my Discord, but like, I'm not gonna go over them now, but I have very strict criterias and I think that if I'm very consistent, if I'm very disciplined and test products with these criterias consistently till like even the end of the year, I think, I think, I think it'll hit it because I'm just being very, very strict with it and very thoughtful of it as well. And then the second issue is actually creatives. I've, I've been like, I, I don't know. I, I, the more time passes on and the more that I learn, I look back at the things that I was doing and they kind of just be like, Julian, you're a fucking idiot. Like, I get mad. You fucking idiot. <laughs> like, like, what was I doing? Am I stupid? Because the reason why I'm saying that is because I've been an editor since I was 10 years old. Like, I, I've edited videos and it's been a skill of mine. Now, I'm not like, I've been on and off. I'm not a crazy editor. But like, I've been in the game, so, you know, obviously now Canva has made shit, uh, not Canva, well, yeah, Canva for images, but like, uh, sorry, CapCut for videos. Both those platforms have made it so easy to make very good creatives or ads for people that don't have skills. But like, basically, I've just been editing, so I don't know why I've never took advantage of that and make my own creatives. I always ripped creatives. I always like tested other people's creatives and it just never worked. And 
that's not to say that you can't use other people other people's content but i strongly suggest if like the visual or the creative is being run as an ad just count yourself too late someone's running it as an ad whoop de doo find other content find maybe organic content or bro make image ads image ads is so underrated or you know if you could depending the product order the product yourself like I, i'm just saying like doing that extra mile is actually a huge fucking game changer because creatives are the most important fucking aspect of your business why not go that extra mile for the creatives rather than i used to go that extra mile for my website like i'll make sure like my website looks better i'll spend like extra time making one extra feature on my website but bro it's the fuck the website the website could literally just be a fucking landing page that says buy now it's all the creative the creative does all the convincing so for me, it, it's just like get your own creatives, like get your own visuals or just have the room to be creative with your creatives. You get, you get what I mean? Like when you're copying other people, obviously, yes, there's work. And I'm not saying become like don't recreate the wheel. Like just a simple advice. Uh, what a lot of people do is they find a competitor they look at the structure of a winning ad for the competitor and they copy the exact same structure, like maybe even the same fucking copywriting, the same script, but they just place their brand name and their product in it. But their visuals are their own. They order the product and they change the, and they just have their own visuals, but that's now their own ad. You can see what I mean? So they didn't recreate the wheel. They, I guess, copied a, a winning structure, but it's their own ad. And I, I don't know, I just believe that with a AI and Facebook's algorithm, it's really advanced. So if they have the same visuals and same creative as someone else, it just won't perform as well. Or it just won't, maybe it won't, might perform well. It just won't last long. I don't know. It's just like there's certain steps in the process of the business. That I've realized that it's just, it's game changers. And I, I'm either... And I've known about it. I've just been too lazy or too scared or didn't think like, oh, I'm not creating a brand, so I don't need to do that. But it's not about creating a brand. It's about creating profits, about creating profits. And if you want to create consistent profits, these are steps that you have to do. Drop shipping back then, when, you know, a few years ago, you could have done this. You could have done the strategy that a lot of people are doing and it would work more consistently. I'm sure it still works now. Just very, you know, the chances are slim. But now, you know, the space is evolving and you just got to do better. And I think you just got to be more authentic. So you just got to, you just got to do it right, I guess you can say. And I, I, I don't know why. I've just now am approaching more of the logical side. I'm not taking anyone else's strategy. I'm not taking any, any bullshit. It's just whatever I've learned, take it in. And now just think logically of just business. And again, I'm probably horrible at explaining it to you. You probably are saying like, what the fuck? It's very broad. I've, I've, I've written it all down kind of like as a journal and made it into documents. It's all in discord. So the people there are probably understand what the fuck I'm talking about, but it's just those two aspects. That's it. That's all. If you don't focus on anything else, do, do not fucking focus on anything else. I'll make a video going deeper about creatives because, it, again, it's a huge factor. But for now, it's product selection and creatives. Product selection and creatives. Product selection and creatives. Those are the only two things you should be focusing. When you choose a product, answer the question of who's the target audience? Do they have money? Are they willing to spend? Are there other competitors? Um... What are the other competitors doing? How many are there? Is it a saturated product? Is it a saturated market? What's the pain point? What's the desires? Is it a, is it a real like like pain point? Like is it does it really hurt or people slightly don't care about it? Um, like all these questions I'm asking in my head now. Before I didn't, I just checked like oh it has views, run it. No, I asked these questions. Now with creatives, it's so straightforward. It's just so straightforward. It's just have a hook. Like, I, 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 for me, it's like an eye opener. Like, what the fuck? But it's just like, 
create your own unique things, like your own unique creatives, and then just have a script that's so straightforward. Because again, remember, again, I'll go into this, but just remember, like you're you're talking to people that are probably not that smart. You're dumbing down to the, to the masses, right? So you need a script that's so straightforward. So don't overcomplicate it. Have a simple, engaging hook. You know, prove that the product works. Prove that they need the product, and prove that they're only gonna get it here. Have it with testimonial. Like it's just it's straightforward, and with consistent, just logical tests. I think, I believe, not think. I believe, the next few months, I'm going to hit my goal. But yeah, basically, if you want to create a brand starting and like a consistent brand that's going to bring you money for at least half a year products and creatives focus on those two and again you'll be fine you'll be flying if you focus 95 percent of your energy on products and creatives you'll get a brand i promise you that if you want to know how like step by step or have more detailed check the link below in my discord i have all the resources there and plus all the people that can help you out Thank you for watching. Of course, I'll see you at the top.